It just occurred to me, this affair with Johanka reminds me of a manuscript I made a copy of once. You might find it interesting. If you want, you can come with me and I'll find it for you. It's not like I'm gonna go anywhere. Oh, dude, what? Dude! So you're gonna do it again, aren't you? This is part of my penitent. I've got a copy here. I'll lend it to you if you promise to bring it back. You do know how to read, don't you? Yes. Of course I do. By Christ, lad, you're a regular scholar. Here you are, then. I'm sure it's in good hands. You can bring it back to me when you're passing again. Ah, all right, thanks. You're welcome, lad. Now run along and don't keep your honk awaiting. Okay, so we've got a manuscript and... We're gonna do the door thing again, aren't we? Now I have to walk back to Sasau because of course we left pebbles there. The question now is do I have to walk back wearing this robe and barefoot? I mean I've done my penitence, haven't I? I'm just worried that I put my boots back on now and I get there and she's like, you didn't go barefoot. And it's like all ruined. Have I got to sort of meet her again looking just like this? And if so, could I get away with putting my boots back on now? And then just putting them on when I get closer? Probably not. She does seem to have a way of knowing things. Oh God, should I spend the night here? I didn't really want to spend the night in an inn. I'm assuming I'm allowed. Is my dog allowed to do that? Probably. I mean, it's actually kind of, oh God. It's actually kind of light. I'm, I'm just, I just, I've got this worry that I'm, I'm going to get there and she's going to be like, oh my God, you smell of beer. Can I go to the bathhouse on the way back and clean up? Or is she going to know I went to the bathhouse? I sort of feel like I shouldn't, I, I feel like I shouldn't clean or put my shoes back on or stay in an inn until... I've spoken to her just in case. You know. I mean, I don't want to speak ill of the Virgin Mary, but she does seem fond of telling tales, doesn't she? St. John's what? Um, yes, I'm picking flowers as part of my holy penance. How many? How often do you need to... Oh, no, you're, you're, you're marking your territory, aren't you? You don't actually need the toilet. Okay, um... Running through the forest in the middle of the night sounds like a really daft idea. Let's... Where are we now? We just... Ah, oh, no, that's not the way I want to go unless I want to go to Talmberg. Do I want to go to Talmberg? If I did, I probably would have been better off going that way. I was actually thinking of going via... Well, Rate. I, I was thinking of going via somewhere that I had a tailor. Because at the very least, I want to get some of my stuff repaired. Although there's a, there's a side of me now thinking I do not want very, very many people to see me. Was there a tailor... There is a tailor in Ledechko. I could go to Ledechko, and it is a little closer. Right. Well, do... It's not that much closer, is it? Although, no, it is. All right, let's, let's go to Ledechko. And the best way to do that is... Ooh. Honestly... Yeah, probably still via Talmberg. I have a horrible feeling I'm going to have to spend the night somewhere before uh, 
before I get all the way back to the monastery. And that probably... See, that's the other thing about going to Rate. It does have a room in a castle. There's not an inn. So there's no way of her saying, you stopped in an inn. I stopped in a bloody castle, right? That's... That I should be... I really wanted to do... No, you know what? I, I'm sticking to the plan. I'm going to Rate. But for that, I need to go this way. Oh, run. I'm going to be running through... Hello? Do, do I need my um, torch out? Is it that late? Oh, this is going to get me in all sorts of trouble in the middle of the night. I've probably got another hour, maybe two of sunlight. And then it's going to get a little, well... I, I, I don't want to use the word scary. I mean, I'm a fully armoured... I'm a mostly fully armoured man. The, the, the road should not be that scary for me, even in the middle of the night. But I am a barefoot, mostly armoured man. And I don't have my horse. So if, if I do get in any trouble, things can get somewhat less than pleasant. Yeah, I just... Oh, no, I should have gone through that one. This is going to be... There is a campsite. There was a campsite. Where was it? it? Oh, it was there. I could. I could actually sleep rough tonight. I think before I head into the um, woods, we're going to take a road off in that direction. Or uh, have I misjudged where I'm going anyway? I may have misjudged where I'm going. I may be heading straight towards... Okay, no, I, I'm, I'm... Here's what's not a great idea. Getting lost. Am I hit? No. I could have sworn, right? I came here, then I went up this one, didn't I? So... Oh, I'm just so getting lost at this point. Yeah, it is definitely getting a little on the dark side. I'm wondering if I should take the night hawk. Just in case. There are, you know, bandits. Is this it? I think this is it. I think this is it. We're here. We're actually here? That's the camp. Right. I say, instead of wandering around the wood, woods anymore, I think what we do is we just spend the night here. What do you think? I mean... I'm a heavily armed... Oh, don't whittle there, I might... I probably won't sleep there. I'm a heavily armoured man. But I also look kind of rough and pretty disgusting and not rich. So not really worth the trouble is what I would be thinking. Um, oh, how are you... How are, Bunny rabbit. How are you doing for... All right, we'll, we'll, we'll eat in the morning, yeah. But I just, I just want, oh my. Good boy. God, I'm a, just. That's my boy. I'm surprised the dog hasn't just run off and left me. I look like something that crawled out of a swamp. Okay, how, how am I doing for, uh, nourishment? I, I need a little bit of food. Okay. Usually I have some fine wine about now, but I'm thinking not a. I might have to have one of your sausages. I'm actually out of things like porridge. I've got dried mushrooms. They don't really fill me up much, though. I think... I think the sausages are going to end up... Oh, now I feel guilty. I just ate a sausage in front of the dog. But I think the dog's fine. <sighs> to me! Don't step on the fire. I feel 
terrible eating a sausage and not giving you one. So here, look what I've got. Have a bloody you. sausage. You'll love this. Okay. So, how are we doing? You're still. You 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 know what? We don't. We we had a late supper. We we can we can get a bit of distance before we uh, we have breakfast. Let's see if we can get all the way to Rate before we have breakfast. And uh, I'm gonna find somewhere to wash. I should be allowed to wash, right? I won't go in the bathhouse. I won't go in an inn. But we could definitely find somewhere to wash at least some of the muck off me. But when I get back to Yahanka, I will be suitably disheveled. If I got the tailor and I get this robe fixed. Because the robe is at... I don't, why would I even want to fix the robe? I just... I just... Because I'm currently wearing it, that's why. Um, the penitent's robe. Should I just leave it a total tattered mess? And then when I get back, I look a total tattered mess, all humiliated. Because I think that's the basic idea here, isn't it? I'm supposed to feel completely worthless, have all of my pride stripped down. Have you noticed how penitence has a very similar result to torture? It feels like it was a lifetime ago that I came down this road looking for the attackers from Neuhof. Oh, I got some stories I could tell you. Yes, I do. Strange. I sort of know this area pretty well now. In fact, I actually feel like I know my way around everywhere except the areas around Sasau. I always get totally confused. I'm probably just about to get totally confused right now, aren't I? No, we're going to Neuhof. We're, we're going past Rate. Um, we are currently running down here, I believe. If we turn up one of those, we go to the inn over there. But we're avoiding inn, so we go via Neuhof to Rate. But yeah, it's strange. I do feel like this is familiar, and yet... Like I've not been here for a while. Clean conscience. You sleep better with a clean conscience. And with the weight of your mind, you can learn things a bit faster. You get 5% more exp... <clears throat> oh, right. Okay. I... I have a lighter conscience, apparently. Right. That definitely... Am I going to keep that, or will that disappear if I have a single fight? Or take take a drink, or go to the bathhouse? Do I have to avoid every single fight all the way back to Sasau? That's not going to be easy. It's not. Oh, I shouldn't get in any fights, should I? Otherwise, Johanka's going to know. She's going to be able to look deep into my soul and see if I've done anything sinful. Oh, I'm doomed. I really am. There is no way I can get from here all the way to Rate, then from Rate all the way to Sasau without getting in a fight. Maybe I could avoid having a bath. Maybe I could avoid some wine or staying in an inn. But without my horse, the chances of me not getting into a fight are like next to nil. I just realized with, with nothing else to think about other than to just look at the scenery, 
I've got a sense of where you are. I thought earlier I was hearing deer because I saw... Because I got a feeling that deer were ahead when I was hearing those noises. But in actual fact, I just had a feeling you were ahead for some odd reason. And now I've got a mental image with you having your head as a trophy on the wall. Don't ask why. That was not my... I'm not the one who put that image there. That image just appeared to me whilst looking around at the scenery with nothing much to think about beyond the fact that uh, apparently I'm not in civilization. I have a clean conscience. There's an accident. And I know where you are, even when it rains. Yes, I'm babbling. It's a long journey, and not a lot is happening. Oh, I just remembered. The tailor doesn't open until uh, late morning. He's not one of the early risers. Some of them like to rise early. He is not one of them. We're going to have to hang around here for a few hours if I want to fix my stuff. And I do want to fix my stuff. So I need to find something to do. Would getting a little bit of martial training be against the rules? Although it doesn't look like Bernard is here either. Oh, damn it. It would probably be against the rules. I don't know, actually. Martial training, that could... Oh! Oh! Oh, that's a little better. That is a... That's a little better, right? That's a little... Better. Yeah, a bit of martial training would have been nice. But I don't actually think it's... Is it too early or is he otherwise occupied? He's probably still in bed like a sensible person. So maybe what I do is just go and... Um, could call in Teresa and say hi. You know, hang around for a little bit. Or would that count as... Now, that wouldn't count as a sin, would it? Would your hanker think of Teresa as a sin? I mean, we're not married... Is that my life now? Oh. I, I, I no longer have a clean conscience. I no longer have a clean conscience. I no longer... Is this because I thought of Teresa? Is this because I thought about Teresa? Or is it because I washed? Is it because I washed? Please tell me, washing in a trough like that did not... Banish my clean conscience. All right, I'm not going to think about Teresa. I'm not even going to visit her. Why don't I have a clean conscience anymore? Okay, I've managed to avoid any and all temptation. God be with Please you. Please fix my stuff. Good luck then. Okay, I want that fixed. I want that fixed. Do I want to fix this, or should I just li- this, 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 That can't be wrong, can it? Fixing the penitent's robe. Just so it doesn't look quite so tat- No, you know what? Let's keep it tatty. We, let's keep it as tatty looking as humanly possible. <sighs> Thank you. This does take a lot longer on foot, but I'm pretty sure I can make it back to Sasau before night falls now. One thing I should do before speaking to Johanka is actually read the manuscript Father Godwin gave me. Maybe I should find somewhere to sit out of the weather and read that. I, I feel like I should read that somewhere, I don't know, pious. Like in a chapel. There's a scribe's? There is a scribe's office here. Would that... I, you know, I could... 
I've got to stop worrying about this. I really have. It's bothering me that I've lost my clean conscience, that I'm even thinking about where can I sit and read that's best for my eternal soul. Yeah, I'm still a little miffed at the fact that I lost my clean conscience and don't know why. Is it because I visited the fighting place? Or am I just going the wrong way? Is it like, no, you should not have gone to Rate first. You should have gone straight from Ujits to the monastery. It just honestly didn't think I'd make it there in a single night. I, I did not think there's any chance I would make it in a single night. I would get ambushed galore, and there's nowhere to sleep that isn't an inn. So I thought this was the path of least temptation. Really did. It's not because I... Is it because I travelled past that inn? I mean, this road goes past the inn, but does that... Did I get too close to an establishment of ill repute? In which case, I should really travel wide around the bathhouse and the inn. People are going to think I'm an utter loony. People would probably be right. Where was the... Oh, there is a... Ta yeah, there is a tailor here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Never mind. I could probably have um, avoided having to wait. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm a pious man. Hey, who's there? Catch him. You're forgiven. I'm not. No, I'm clean conscious. Picking a fight with. I'll get you. I don't know what. What is the what? What? A... You won't get away. I'm gonna get into a fight with a guy. Is is that? I just. This is this is unbearable. Let's go and talk to Johanka. And. Then stop worrying about whether or not I'm doing the right thing. Because I think it's a fair bet that the answer is always no. Yeah, letting a thief go does not feel very pious. No, it doesn't. But it always ends up in a fist fight. And it didn't seem to matter what my reasons were for getting into fights. Oh, this is where I always end up getting into a fight. It just, it did not seem to matter why I got into a fight to Yohanka. <sighs> okay. She just judges me anyway. Sorry, the Virgin Mary judges me and passes on the message. I have to admit, it's been a pretty uneventful trip. He says... Ah! <sighs> I I <sighs> Am I allowed to fight him? Bandits and everything? Probably not. Do I want to? Can we get around this person? I don't understand why. Well, I don't understand anything, to be honest. Come on, let's just, just creep around him, avoid this fight, just in case it's the wrong thing. Again, it does not seem to me, to be reasonable, that picking a fight with bandits is, uh, you know, a sin. I mean, they're bandits, right? Do you think it's because sometimes when they give up, I hit them anyway? The thing is, is I just don't believe them. They give up, they, 
they say, oh, no, I repent. And you know they're just going to go off and start robbing someone else. So it's, it's kind of like, you know they're murderers. You know they're killers. They're only stopping because they're losing. Letting them go seems... Well, you know, because then I'd let him go and then he'd go and kill this guy, right? There should be some very simple, easy rules I can follow. Maybe there are. Now that I can read, maybe I should read the Bible. Maybe it's got a short list of sensible things that I avoid doing and stop worrying about whether my eternal soul is heading for damnation. And then I can just get back to what I do best. As long as what I do best is apparently on the list. You know what, though? We've made it. I do want to read this book. I don't want to do it in the inn. Where can I read it? I, I want to read it before I speak to Johanka. Uh, let's go to church. Let's go to church. Read the manuscript. Maybe make a donation. I mean, that's penitent, isn't it? I'm still barefoot. Disgustingly dirty. Well, not as disgustingly dirty as I was, although I probably am by now. Where... Oh, there you are. And, um... Yeah. God and our Lord Jesus Christ forsake those men who prove themselves unworthy and give their treasures and riches to women according to the word that God chose that which is weak to cast shame upon that which is strong. For men, when they excel at something, are excessively vainglorious, giving credit only to their own actions and forgetting our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, wives, virgins and widows are elevated in our times, succumbing to discipline, living the most noble lives and venerating the heavenly kingdom before men who are occupied only with the vanities of this world. Therefore, women fill the churches, spend their time in prayer and listen to sermons, reject entertainments, vanities and ostentation and surpass men in devotion and love of Christ. Women think constantly of the concerns of our Lord, lingering in veneration until they are brought to tears and nourish evermore their love of Christ. In divine mercy and manifest visions and prophecies, women, I say, are 100 times more gifted than any man and perhaps even priests. It seems, therefore, that the gift of prophecy and intimacy with the Holy Spirit is often bequeathed now to women. To them are revealed the great mysteries of God and great wisdom as we know from the example of the acclaimed virgin Hildegard, the saintly Bridget and many other women who already comprise a procession. These I have seen in Paris, Rome, Nuremberg and in Prague. Okay. So this person is very impressed with uh, women and their piety. Okay, can I... Could you stop licking the door? Stop licking the door. Stop licking the door! Stop staring at the door and let me get at... Is this a hint? That is definitely not a hint. I'm just saying... Not in a church. I mean, not anywhere in public, if possible. But definitely not in a church. What have you found? It's probably another dog has peed all over the wall. Right. Okay, come on. We're going to go back to Johanka. We've read the manuscript. We've done the penitence. I'm still barefoot, and I'm... Oh, God, I'm... Yes, I'm already disgustingly dirty. Let's not bother washing. Let's turn up disgustingly dirty. I want to look as wretched as possible. Well, within bounds of reason. It never occurred to me to ask Johanka how she knows about all this penitent stuff. I mean, she's been hanging around the monastery, I get it. And she's getting visions from the Virgin Mary, but where did she pick up all of this penitent stuff? Oh. 
Hello, Pebbles. Did you miss me? I'm sure you... What are you snooping around here for? What the hell? Clear off. Where is your hunker? Where's your hunker? She's locked up at the rat house. Orders of the bishop. Locked up? What? For what? For heretical speeches. Run along now. If you want to chat about it, go and talk to that monk who smells like an apothecary shop. He's in a flap about it too. Take care. Take care? <sighs> Nicodemus! What? In the... Oh, forgive the... Forgive everything, just... What happened to your hunker? Nothing good, I'm sorry to say. She was locked up by the Papal Inquisitor Bishop Yaroslav of Beneshoff. It seems he somehow caught wind of this preaching of hers. He's accused her of spreading heresy and had her placed under arrest. Oh, we have to start the... Jesus Christ! What's gonna happen to her? I don't know, Henry. It all depends on the Inquisitor and how he decides. The accusations brought against Johanka are very serious. Ah. Uh, well, we must do something. Hmm. Quiet! Well, you can try talking to Bishop Yaroslav. He can tell you more. As a servant of the royal headman, your name ought to carry some weight with him. But watch your step. This matter is entirely in the hands of church law, so you mustn't overestimate your lay authority here. Right. Right. I'll go and see this Bishop Yaroslav of Beneshov. May God go with you. Okay. And thank you, Henry. I'm glad you're standing up for your hanker. If you need anything, do come and see me. <sighs> okay, um... Do, is there anything else? Right, yes, where can I find him? Where can I find this Inquisitor? He's staying here in the monastery grounds. His quarters are on the upper floor. All right. What actually happened here? Your hanker told me you went to Ushitz? Yeah. What's that got to do with anything? The Inquisitor showed up here not long after you left. Apparently he heard about your hanker's preaching somehow. He even observed one of her sermons outside the town in disguise. He had her brought to him and spent a long time trying to discourage her from what she was doing. But then she went out again to preach about her visions outside of town. Oh, but before she even started, God. the Inquisitor turned up with Fabian and the guards. He said Johanka had ignored his outright ban and he had her taken away. Then he warned the people there that Johanka was spreading heresy and undermining the church's authority and forbade them to listen to her. That's all? Didn't you speak to the Inquisitor? Ah, oh, no, actually I didn't. He saw me there listening to her preaching and I, uh, oh, I was afraid to come sleep. forward and talk to him. I just uh -huh. get any sleep. Well, that's understandable. Thanks. It sounds pretty serious. It is. I'm afraid it could be very serious indeed. Yeah, they don't like their authority being challenged. What exactly does an Inquisitor do? The Inquisition is a papal institution that deals with heresy. So people don't succumb to charlatans, false prophets and deceptions, and put their faith and their immortal souls in jeopardy. The Inquisitors have all sorts of powers, the kind we here can do very little to stand up to. And what can he do to your hunker? I'm not entirely sure. These legal issues are very complicated, but he could certainly excommunicate her and Quiet. maybe even sentence her to death. Yeah. Who is this Bishop Yaroslav? I've never heard of him before, but the prior has. He said he's very well learned and the Bishop of Sarepta. Sarepta? Where's that, Moravia? No, it's far, far away, near the Holy Land. He got the title from the Holy Father himself. Okay. And this bishop came all the way here from Sar... whatever? Sarepta. But I doubt he's ever been there. It used to be a bishopric in the days of the Apostolic Fathers in Phoenicia, near Israel. But it was ransacked by the Muslims. Now it's just a titular bishopric. And Yaroslav is the titular bishop. 
Uh, you mean he's a bishop in name only, right? Titular bishop? Like he's not a real one? It's, let's say, an honorary title. It refers to a diocese that no longer exists. And since a titular bishop has no diocese to oversee, he can devote himself to handling other very important church ah. affairs, like ordaining other prelates, for example, to maintain succession through the centuries down from the time of Christ and his apostles. So he gets all the authority and none of the responsibility. Convenient. Do you believe your hanker is really being visited by the Virgin Mary? Well, yes, Henry, I do. The things she says and the way she speaks. She doesn't sound like herself at all. I know she can't read, so where else could she have got it? Frankly, I can't think of any other explanation within the bounds of this world. Uh, I probably can, but I'm not going to. Way above my pay grade. Um... All right, so I need to go and find this bishop who is in the monastery staying up. You know what? He's not expecting a penitent man and especially uh, a penitent man that did penitence at the instructions of a heretical woman, so... Let's get dressed and also let's get cleaned up. I want to make a good impression. Okay, it's it's not that late yet. I have got enough time to have a very, very fast bath with nothing else. I think at the moment... The idea of my conscience getting a little stained by the presence of uh, the bathmaids yeah. is the least of Yahanka's worries.